Hi guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at how you can take an existing Java project that you've downloaded and use it within VS Code. Uh, so I'll put a link below the video to the direct download of the file that I'm using as an example within this video so that you can download it yourself. Um, but I've already downloaded the zip file into here. So what I'm going to do now is just right click. Um, you can unzip the file using whatever program you like. I'm using 7-zip. So extract files. I'll just extract the folder into um, the location where I keep my Java projects. Click OK. Um, and now if we go to that location, I can see that the file's been um, unzipped into here. So we'll go ahead and close this. Now in VS Code, I'm just going to click Open Folder, uh, select the program I just uh, downloaded, and now it's going to open up in VS Code. So you can see here that the project we've downloaded is called Importing Projects. And if we click on source here, we can see it contains two files, hello and operator. So if I click on hello, now the first time you open a Java project in VS Code, this pop-up will come up here um, asking if you want to exclude the VS Code Java project setting files from the file explorer. Um, this will just exclude um, these files from the sidebar here. Um, I would recommend just selecting exclude globally um, just to make everything simpler uh, for future downloads. Now you can see here um, just above the main method of hello um, these two buttons should appear run and debug um, and if we click run then the main method should run and we can see that the following is just printed in the terminal so that worked fine. Um, if we go to operator we'll see the same thing above the main method the run and debug buttons um, so these are what you'll use um, to get your code running or to debug your code within VS Code. Um, so the operator method here, um, the operator class here, sorry, it contains the smaller method, um, which just takes an integer x, integer y, and returns the smaller of the two integers. And we can see, again, um, if we click Run, um, we are going to see two print statements appear here. Smaller of 10 and 20 is 10. Um, that was just taken by simply calling the smaller method. And then smallest of 50, 30, 90, 60 is 30. Um, this is uh, found by take calling the smaller method two times and then calling the smaller method on the return values of those two instances of the smaller method. Um, and now that I have this project open in VS Code, I can edit it however I like. Um, you know, any changes I make, I just need to make sure that I click Save up here. Um, and also, if I wanted to add a new class, a new file to this project, I can just go up here to um, the name of the project and click New File. And I can then type in um, the name of a new file, just make sure you add .java to the end. And now, if I want to create the new sum class, I can do it in here. Um, so that's just a really brief introduction into how to get existing projects up and running in your um, VS Code. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.